fans, viewers, again, welcome to another sunny edition of a beer review. I can't see fuck all. I can just about see my head, vaguely see the beer, but other than that, apologies for if I'm squinting and I'm looking weird. It's because the sunlight is so damn bright in here today, which is a good thing. It's a good thing. It means it's beer o'clock. Today's beer review, and I'm going to be careful because I know there's sediment. This is Krimbergen Triple. It is a 3.30 from Belgium and comes in at 9%. Yes, 9%. Again, this is an Abbey beer. There is sediment at the bottom. Don't think you can see it. I don't know because I can't see what I'm fucking doing myself. Uh, somewhere along there, there should be like a white line. If you can see that, that is the sediment. So I'll be very, very careful in what I'm doing with that. I'll be showing you the pour because uh, why not? I don't often. But I'm gonna. Okay, smoke comes out the top. It's climbing like a bitch. This is gonna foam over. This is gonna foam. It's gonna foam. Yeah, it's 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 foaming. Yeah, I'm just gonna go and get the mess out at the moment. Right, so I'm just gonna leave that to settle for a sec. Here's the cap, I'm quite liking that, the phoenix with the word Krimberg in like a cream colour, white ivory cream, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Okay, so let's uh, see if I can get a bit more of this. This is so well carbonated, it is untrue. I'm having real difficulties with this. Yeah, we're still about half in there, so I'm gonna be I'm just gonna rest that on there for just a minute. Krimberg and Win uh, what is this? Krimberg a triple. Um I've had this will be the third Krimberg I've ever had. So they've all been nice so far. Um the blonde version you can readily available buy in most places now. Uh don't know about you know, it used to be back in the day you couldn't really get it. The other one I had uh, I can't remember even what it was now, but that was amazingly good. I'm hoping this is not going to let the team down. So as we can see, just a massive head. Don't need to show you that. You can see that for yourself. Probably see in this light as well. If I move out of the way, you may be able to see what colour. It's like a sort of between a light and a dark hazy. Oh, there we go. Look at that. It looks quite clear actually on camera. I can see that, but in real life, it's a little bit. It's got a little bit of a haze to it. Um, believe it or not. Right, so I'm just going to just delve in because I don't think this head's going to go down anytime soon. It's so lightly carbonated, it's untrue. Sounds of lemon peel. That is weird. Weird, weird, weird. The lemon peel. Just, just lemon peel. So it's lemon, 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 lemon. Lots of fucking lemon. Right. Lemon peel. The head is actually, I must admit, it's very, very frothy as well, so this should be good. Right, to Krimbergen. Wow. Oh. That is. Oh! <laughs> I wasn't expecting that little kick at the end there. Wow. That is a, uh, that's, 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 this is a, uh, my kind of beer fans, my kind of beer. This is very, very lively, it's so, well, I say lively, the head's lively, the body of the beer is so soft, very soft, gentle. You know, you, you've got um, a ro uh, flavours of, again, lemon, slight citrus, mostly lemon dominated. And then you get this kick of alcohol. There's a nice rounded warmth to it <coughs> from start to finish. And at the end there, I've got a real kick of alcohol. So <coughs> let's see if I can uh, crack on with some more of this. See what else I can get. Yeah. It is just soft. Gentle, and then you get this lemon taste. Nice lemon zestiness, gentle citra. Oh, and then you just get a bit more well, not more, but there's a, a less of a burn now. 
I think that first one took me by surprise, but after you sort of start to drink this, the alcohol burn doesn't really bother you. In actual fact, it's quite pleasant to have that warmth as a back note, citrus flavour that's nice and soft and gentle. This really is a lovely beer. This this is like your your ex gangster granddad or something. You know, this is like an old timer who's soft and gentle, but rub them up the wrong way, they'll give you a fucking good hit. And that's what it does. It does. It's it's beautiful. Well done to the Abbey that made it. Even the head is gentle. Everything about this beer is gentle. Love it. Love this. Uh, there you go. One more time, fans. Krimberg and Triple. Wow, even that aftertaste is just lovely. It's got a slight fruitiness as well. You let it really appreciate and your palate just works. It's the slight hint of fruit there. Um, beautiful, beautiful. I'm going to score this a... Well, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. The only reason why I'm not going to give it a 10 is because mostly it's dominated by one flavour. And that is, of course, that, uh, that lemon. Again, nothing wrong in that. But I would just like to have seen maybe one or two more flavours, but... As it stands, fantastic beer. Absolutely, I'm chuffed I picked this up. <coughs> Next time on my beer reviews, I will be reviewing a um, Holy Grail. So, you're not going to want to miss this next review that I'm going to be doing. It, all I'm going to say is it's 750ml, uh, and it comes in at 11.5%. And it's from Belgium. So you don't want to miss that, so don't forget fans, if you want to watch that, then please do. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe and share my videos. And until next time, for my big daddy of a beer, thanks for watching.